I've always wanted to do a talk show, but uh, I don't like couches. I think it's better to just walk about and chat. So today, I'm walking and talking with Liv Tyler. I first met Liv Tyler in 1997 in the Czech Republic, where we were shooting a movie called Plunkett and McLean. And we spent many a long hour together in makeup because we both had really huge hair, I remember. Now she's doing a lot of press for her new film coming out. So I'm going to go and pick her up at this photo studio and take her out and show her a good time. Hi, darling. Hi. <laughs> how are you? Beautiful boy. I'm good. Oh, how are you? Bless you. I'm very well, thank you. Oh my god, my cherry to wait. Yes. Did, how was your photo shoot? It was very good. Thank you. Okay, hop in. Now you've done that. <laughs> How are you? I'm very well. Are you? All the better for seeing you. Oh. How are you? I have this really weird, it only happens sometimes, but um, I have this like anxiety thing where I'm very comfortable all the time in front of people or like one-on-one, -on -one, but whenever I have to um, be like in front of big groups of like crowds or get up on a stage or uh -huh. go on Letterman or do interviews and stuff, I get really nervous for some reason. It's very bizarre. Always. Well, once I do it for a little bit, like if, if I'm promoting presence. a movie, and I'll get more and more comfortable. But um, yesterday I had to do an interview for Seventeen magazine, which was like so simple, and the woman was so sweet. And certain questions they just ask me, and I kind of blank out, and I can't think. But they and do I get all name nervous. questions. That's what I don't like. You go, they do like I go. It went to a premiere or something, mm -hmm. or a thing at the New York Film Festival last week, and they suddenly ask you stuff like, you know. What was, it that, what was your favourite pet when you were a little boy? Oh, yeah. And stuff like that. Like, they'll say, you know, if there's, is there something that you want people to know about you that oh. they don't already know? And I'm like, oh. I just completely... I know, I say something <laughs> rude, like, like, you know, I have sex toys or something like that, you know. But <laughs> it makes Do me, you? Tons, darling. It. it makes me want to uh, <laughs> be bad when people say that. Yeah, and, it's... And like it... Um, um, when last, when recently, you know, like one of those magazines that have a bit of the back where they put you in if you're badly dressed. Right, right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Never out of there. Um, and they said, it was like that magazine, and they said, oh, do you read us? And I was like, um, are you the ones that have the annoying bit at the back with all those out of work comedians <laughs> making snidey comments about people's clothes? If so, I do. Because <laughs> they're so vicious. So, do you know where we're going? No idea. <laughs> yes, we're going to Coney Island. But wait, so is it still open, Coney Island? Today's the last day. <gasps> oh my goodness. End Are of we going to go on roller coasters? You can do whatever we like. I absolutely adore roller coasters. Ever since I was a little girl, I've been obsessed. Really? Oh, when I, even when I drive by those little fairs where they sort of set the roller coasters <coughs> up for a couple of days, which is very dodgy and really Oops. scary because they yeah, could fall over. Exactly. I wanted to talk to you about this. Oh my god, the Arwen doll. <laughs> How bizarre is that? How it's bizarre that she has no neck, too. I think she, she looks like um, Christine Baranski. Who's that? Um, she's that lady who is on television. I always lift up and look at the giant. Oh. That's not a good one. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> Let me see Just that the again. other day I was in, um, um, I was at home and I get, I get these like little dolls in a box that I have to approve. Oh, and yeah. And they just arrive and I have to sign the thing and send them back and I never want to. But I'm always like, this one, the first time I ever got it, I took all the clothes off because I was so excited. It was like Barbie <laughs> and I could not get the clothes back on because the hands are like a little fist. Look, it's kind oh, of yeah. like she's ready to give it a hand job. Uh -huh. Oh my oh, God. Also, I'm enjoying her feet. Yeah, bizarre. They're sort of like strapped in in that kind what of way that Chinese people did off? to children. <laughs> Let me pop her somewhere. Throw her in the back. I'll just let her sit her down there. I'll stride, straddle my key. Do you have a doll? Well, yes. I have um, I have two. I have a six inch and a 12 inch. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> I noticed that you are completely posable too. Mine is, mine, when, when I got my dolls and it said completely posable, I thought that was like the most fantastic thing, but apparently they all are. The boys ones though do way cooler things in The Lord of the Rings. Like Orlando's like takes out his sword and Vigo's uh -huh. does something outrageous and mine just puts the, her necklace and it kind of glows. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. How many brothers and sisters have you got? I have, well, from my stepdad, Todd, I have um, three brothers who I grew up thinking were my brothers, oh, my God, that's right. So I feel really close to them, even though they're not my blood. With um, my real dad, with Stephen, I've got two sisters and a brother. 
And um, how did that actually happen? What? I know you must have talked about this a gazillion times, but when I'm just thinking about how, when did you find out? I mean, how did they tell you? Well, I met Stephen for the first time at one of Todd's shows. We went to see Todd play. He's a musician too in, mm -hmm. in Boston. And my dad and his wife of now were in Boston and they came to the show. And my mom came over and said, I want to introduce you to someone. And I was like, oh, do I have to? Because I was watching Todd, my dad, perform. And I was like, well, just show me. And so she pointed to this guy standing at the bar. And I was like, oh my god, is that Mick Jagger's son? <laughs> oh, he did not say that. <laughs> I didn't even know who Steven Tyler was. Mick Jagger's no son as well. So I hope I Mick Jagger over. never watches this program. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to slit his wrist. That was the first time I met him. And I had a really powerful, like, really deep connection to him. Like, I was totally in love with him. But it was I was a little girl, so it was, but I knew there was something when I think back on it now, for sure, that was like a, a chemical reaction to yeah. our meeting. And then we just would meet more, and eventually I kind of figured it out. I, I heard, I overheard things, and I saw things, and um, the real moment that I kind of really realized was when I met my sister, Mia. Um, um, Aerosmith was playing with Guns N' Roses, and Guns N' Roses was playing, and my sister, Mia, was standing on the side of the stage. And it was, I was looking at myself, she, we both had a perm, oh. we had on spandex and big giant concert t-shirts and we were really nice. chubby. And I just looked at my mom and I was like, why does that girl look exactly like me? Do you want to have kids? I do actually, really bad. I've always wanted to have lots of children. I think because I grew up in such an interesting, like, I have my mom and then... My well, then stepdad, there's the whole dad thing. and then you there didn't... was like my real dad, and my mom was nuts and shagging loads of people. My dad was shagging loads of people, and Todd was shagging loads of people. And right. I, <laughs> it made me really, and I kind of grew up um, with my mom and with my aunt and my grandmother, and really loving and stable. But it was a little bit nuts at times. So uh -huh. I uh, always really wanted to have a man in my life, um, lots of kids, a, a home, like have that this sort, sort of, of the opposite my of what own, you grew up with. Yes, and so I've like worked my whole career for that and now I have it. I have my I got my we moved into our new house and we got married and then I suddenly was like, Oh my god, wait a minute <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, can we just travel now and like yeah. not do the house? Because this is kind of stressful. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Eavesdropping with Alan Cumming and Liv Tyler.